This clip is sponsored by Wash and & Go and that can only mean one thing. That's right, I'm surrounded by a sea of green. By now you should know that Wash & Go is the best way to look after your luscious locks. I mean, look at what it's done for mine, fantastic. But you don't have to take my word for it, just look at some of the 600 plus Unreal reviews on their Amazon page. Linda from the United Kingdom says, well, it smells lush and leaves hair smelling fresh. Fantastic, Linda. Kingdom customer JSB says, product arrived as advertised. Always very important. Always important to know that, Kindle customer JSB. And finally, my personal favourite, it's shampoo and it works for me. Absolutely fantastic there from Casey. It is indeed shampoo and also a conditioner. If you want to get your wash and go today, then hit the link in the description and get your bottle sent to you today. And remember, it's a shampoo and it works for me. Enjoy the buyer before June. This will not happen, Alex. It will not happen. Um, anyway, let's talk about who should win the Ballon d'Or this year. Um, for the first time in a long time, we've got a Ballon d'Or where it won't be Messi or Ronaldo. And it opens up massive connotations about who the Ballon d'Or winner should be. Now, people just say Benzema are end of conversation. I think that's absolutely fine, but I don't want that to be the end of the conversation. I want five candidates for it because Benzema is a good call and he's had a very good season for Real Madrid and he's going to win the league with Real Madrid. And Lewandowski is a good call. And he's going to win the league with Bayern Munich. And he's scored a lot of goals. But Bayern Munich are not in the semi-finals of the Champions League. So if you're saying Benzema should win the Ballon d'Or, or Lewandowski should win the Ballon d'Or, and my name's Kevin De Bruyne, why am I not going to win the Ballon d'Or? I'm going to potentially win the Premier League and the Champions League. And I've been brilliant. Oh, hold on a minute. Here's Mo Salah. Hold on a minute. Why am I not going to win the Ballon d'Or? Um, I'm going to be the Premier League's top scorer off the right wing. And I might win a quadruple. Why would I not win the Ballon d'Or? And I would say, Mo, Kevin, I'm not against you. I'm just saying I think Benzema's a good call. But I suppose it depends on what the parameters are to win the Ballon d'Or. Because if Messi had had a season like Salah, he would win it. And this is where I always get confused. Because I'm telling you now, if Messi had a season like Salah, he would win it easily against Benzema and Lewandowski. So why are people saying Benzema and Lewandowski over Salah? And what about Virgil van Dijk? Comes back from a career-ending injury. Well, not career-ending. A career, you know, a very serious career injury. And leads Liverpool to a potential quadruple. So, look, I think you've got to add him in as well. Benzema, Salah, Mbappe, Nkunku and De Bruyne, says Kyle Nunn. Well, what's Mbappe done? Apart from stat pad in, in, at PSG. I got no respect for PSG. I mean, this is, how, this is how respected PSG are. I don't think... I'm sure I read somewhere today, and maybe I've got trolled here. I'm sure I read that Pochettino's not been shortlisted for uh, French Manager of the Year, even though PSG are going to win the title. Is that true? Is that true? Benzema, but put, uh, if Portugal win the World Cup, then Ronaldo. Well, the Ballon d'Or gets done before the World Cup, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure that that happens. But, you know, somebody might tell me that there's parameters around this. Um, but... Um, I'm just checking if this is true. Maurizio Pochettino has been snubbed in League One awards despite winning PSG the title. So, yeah, Mbappe can get out. Um, very, very good player, but uh, you're not getting that just because you've won the French League, I'm afraid. Um, I, I want a little bit more. Benzema's done it in the Champions League. Lewandowski's done it in the Champions League to a certain extent. Uh, for me, between Lewandowski and Benzema, Benzema gets it because Real Madrid are in a Champions League semi-final, having beaten PSG and Chelsea. Um, I think Real Madrid's run to the semi-finals has been ultra impressive. So I would put Benzema ahead of Lewandowski. But Mane, Mane's a good shout as well. We're going to do a poll in a minute. I just want to, I want to get it down to four players. So um, Benzema definitely is a Ballon d'Or contender for me. Um, and I, I, I will listen to people what say in the chat. Jack says Benzema, Lewandowski. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Salah's got to be in there uh, for me. I think Benzema and Salah have got to be in there. Um, 
I'm 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 of a mind to to omit Lewandowski because I think Lewandowski should have won it last year. I, I don't think Lewandowski should win it this year, and it wouldn't surprise me if he wins it this year because they should have given it to, given it to him last year. But I, I think he should have won it this year. Uh, last year. Um, what about Son? What what Son done? If Son if Son's winning it, Ronaldo should bloody win it. Like Spurs have done fuck all in Europe, and they're gonna finish fifth. So no. Ballon, look, unfortunately for Son, you could be one of the best players in the world, but if your team doesn't do anything, you don't win a Ballon d'Or. When was the last time somebody won the Ballon d'Or and the team did next to nothing? There is no point in Ballon d'Or. They just give it to Messi, regardless of everything. Lewandowski wasn't the first victim, says Ronaldo fan. And uh, for me this year, it's Benzema, Salah, Mbappe, Mane or De Bruyne. Interesting. Interesting, Veran. Um... I, I, I'm going to put Salah and Benzema in the vote. I just want to know whether we put anybody else in. Thoughts on Casemiro for CDM, Mark? He's very steady marketing, James, but I don't think he'll be leaving Real Madrid. And uh, Mane will have the most important trophies if Liverpool win the quadruple, says Power, Power Dog. And there is no point in balance. Yeah. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let's not forget Mane. AFCON. AFCON winner. Salah, AFCON finalist. So, you know, does that does that come into it at all? Does that come into it at all? Um Benzema, Salah, Mane, De Bruyne, says Mafia. They're 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 my four contenders, I think. They are my four contenders. I personally would like to see Van Dyke in there. And I wouldn't mind seeing another Man City player in there because they've both been, for me, they're the two best teams in the world and there's a very high chance that they'll be the two finalists in the Champions League. I mean, I'm tempted to put Jack Grealish in there. You know, £100 million player. That's an achievement, especially when you've not done anything with it. Um, Ollie, thank you very much for your super chat there. So, um, I'm going to do the poll now. So we're definitely going to go with Benzema. This is going to go in the chat now. Benzema, Salah. How many can I do? God, they only let me do four. I think those four. Benzema, Salah, De Bruyne and Mane. I would have liked to add a couple more in. I probably would have put Lewandowski in and Van Dijk in. But it only lets me put four in. So get voting. Who should win the Ballon d'Or? Is it Benzema? He's going to win the title with Real Madrid. He's in a semi-final with Real Madrid in the Champions League. Salah. Salah could win a quadruple. He's already in the final of the Champions League. De Bruyne could win the, the Premier League and the Champions League with Manchester City. Another fantastic season for him. Mane. AFCON winner, also like Salah, could be winning a quadruple. Who would you go for as the Ballon d'Or winner? Who do you think will win the Ballon d'Or? Um, Lewis says, apparently we've hit 670,000. Thanks everyone who subscribed. Please do it, bottom right hand corner. You're very welcome. We have these sort of chats all the time. We don't always agree, but we have a chat. As I always say, to, this is my, this is my when I'm walking Seb to school, this is a song we sing. And I made it up. When you're crossing the road and you're having a chat, you better watch out because you're going to go splat. People would say that's harsh, but it does make him stop when he's crossing the road. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Paolo Ramirez says, one, Benzema for Ballon d'Or, two, Mane, three, Lewandowski, not Kevin De Bruyne for me. Terrible Bruno has bet better stats than him. I don't think De Bruyne is going to win this anyway. I think I know who's going to win this. Stop the clock. Yes, the clock's been running a long time. I do quite like the clock running, though, because it gives me an idea of um, when the second half's going to start. But I have stopped it now. Uh, amazingly, in the poll, 
Um, Salah's got 22%. Real Madrid... Benzema's got 56%, 56%, De Bruyne's got 9%, and Mane's got 12%. That is, in my opinion, a very, very one-sided um, vote. But I do agree with it. I do think in everybody's mind, people say Benzema should win it. But when you think about it logically, why is Benzema so far ahead of Salah or, or Amane? It doesn't actually make a lot of sense. Omar says, what about Harry Maguire? Ballon d'Or? More like balloon, get out the door. Um, watch Messi uh, win it. Imagine if I tell you what, San. Imagine if Messi wins it. Imagine if Messi wins this. It would be ridiculous, ridiculous. Liverpool squad or Man City squad says Foxy. An opinion on Nigel Farage says Leo. Don't really have. I don't really have much of an opinion on politics anymore. I mean, I think it's just it's, over the last. It was probably always like this, but I've just lost. I've lost. Uh, any interest in it. I used to watch things like News Night and Question Time, but nah, not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. More, not anymore. I'm a, I'd, rather, I'd rather watch uh, I'd rather watch you porn and uh, uh, have, a, have, a, have a bag of pork scratchings or gravel, you know, uh, or, or talk to Woody uh, on, a, on a Zoom call about um, gardening. I love gardening now. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not in charge of Burnley anymore, so I love gardening. So I'll, 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 I'll normally uh, watch EastEnders because uh, I model myself on Phil Mitchell because we're, we're, we're both redheads. And then I'll, uh, I'll Zoom call uh, Woody, uh, Chris Wood, and we'll talk about bulbs and, uh, and onions and, and gardening. Yeah, that, that's what I do. I, I've never been happier. You, know, you talk about keeping a clean sheet about Man, against Man City. I, I'm more focused on how big my sunflowers are in the sun. Arrgh. Anyway, can't do that for too long. Likoku for Bill and Dormeet. Don't sleep on him, says Kieran Hayes. Ah, you know what? It's going to be coming up in a few weeks. Um, they come around very quickly. So at the start of every season on this channel, I do, uh, I'm sure you do it as well, I predict who gets relegated, who's winning the title, who gets top four, who's winning the Champions League, FA Cup, top goal scorer, and then I'll react to it at the end of the season, nine months later. And um, for the second year in a row, spoiler alert, I've completely and utterly not even got close with top goal scorer. Um, I, uh, I went with Timo Werner the first year he signed for Chelsea. <laughs> and then this year I went with Romelu Lukaku. So I can make a promise to Chelsea fans. Next season, even if you somehow got Haaland, I will not predict... Ireland getting a uh, top goal scorer. I will not predict a Chelsea player winning uh, the golden boot next season in the Premier League. Um, I think I'm just going to go with Salah. But, uh, look, um, Benzema has 60%, 59% of the vote. 59% of the vote. So 11,500 votes as well. Uh, Benzema is your comfortable slide away winner for the Ballon d'Or this year. We'll see if it happens. Um, Mark, do you get an official Ballon d'Or vote yet or what? Says Bryce, no. Do you like Ricky Gervais? Feels like a person whose sarcasm you would appreciate or relate to. Love him, Siobhan. Absolutely love it. Um, and I think he's got a new stand-up coming on Netflix as well soon. I, I, I really like I really like. Goal Bridge, that's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you never miss a clip again. In fact, smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.